Hello, and welcome to Higher Ground Gaming. This is Eric. Today we got another game from National Pastime Three, um, from April fifteenth of nineteen seventy. And as you can see here, we have another game on the same day. Um, the other one is the Reds Dodgers game. This is a game between the Expos and Cardinals, and it's zero zero going into the eighth. Now, in actuality, this game was, I think, a 10-0 game with the Cardinals winning. Uh, Mike Torres getting the shutout. Uh, Mike Torres pitching here, of course, has lasted up to the eighth inning without giving up a run also. Um, but also Joe Sparmer, who was a loser in the game, actually uh, is also pitching a um, a no-hitter. Uh, not a no-hitter, but a uh, shutout up until the eighth inning. So... Let me show you the other game right here, if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, this was the other game right here between the Dodgers and the Reds on the Delphi Forum here. And uh, this one went to 11, and the Reds winning one nothing with um, Jim Merritt beating Claude Olstein. So let's see what can happen here. So both pitchers went over nine innings, over ten innings. So let's see what we got. Oops. So let's see what we got here. So, top of the uh, Expos have got four hits, and the Cardinals have five hits. So, the top of the eighth inning here with uh, Adolfo Phillips. So, it'll be eight, nine, and one hitters from Montreal. So, Adolfo Phillips is one for two. Ooh, three, three. And let's see what's going to happen here. Five, two. So that's going to be a, a single. Let's see if Phillips is going to steal. And no, he will not get the jump. All right, so Joe Sparmer up now. And Joe Sparmer will bunt here. Try to get the runner in scoring position. Joe Sparmer is 0 for 2 on the day. 4 5. And he's going to draw the walk. So this is about the biggest threat that's. Any team has had, oh, there were a couple runners that made it to third base, but nothing too exciting. All right. All right, so nobody out. Mac Jones, 0 for 3 on the day with a couple of strikeouts. Here's the pitch by Torres. And that is going to load the bases, so definitely the biggest threat of the day. All right, and we're going to bring the infield in. So this could be the first run here pretty quick. So Marv Stahl with a chance to put the Expos on the board. Torres looks in for the sign, looks at the runners. Here's the delivery. 6-3. And that's going to be a flyout, and the runners hold. So, Rusty Stubb, he almost hit a home run. He hit a wall scraper his last time up. Ended up with a double. So, let's see what he can do here. See if La Grande Orange can be the hero. So, Torres looks, inside, looks at the runners. And let me put the infield in again. Here we go. 6-2 again. Was that the same one? No, 2-6 was the other one. And he strikes out. So, two outs now. So, Torres is able to get two batters here. He needs one more out to get out of it. Ron Fairley. He's 0 for 2 with a walk. Here we go. 1-6. And he will get out of it. Wow. So, the base is loaded. Nobody out. And the Expos cannot score. As Ron Fairley hits into a fielder's choice. 6-4. So the bottom of the eighth now. So here's the bigger surprise is uh, Joe Sparma. Joe Sparma 0-1 on the season. So he'll face the top of the order for the Cardinals. It'll be Brock, Cardinal, and Allen. Definitely a tough lineup to be shutting out. So Brock now hitting 3 0 0 for 3 on the day. 4-2. 
And that's going to be a strikeout. So 9Ks and 4 walks for Sparmer. So Jose Cardinal up there now. He's 1 for 3 on the day. And he rolls a 1-3. And he's going to draw the walk. See if he gets the jump. Oh, and he's going to get gunned down with a 6-6. Six, six. So he's gunned down by Brand. Ron Brand guns down. Jose Cardinal trying to get in a scoring position with one down. So Dick Allen up there now. Dick Allen 0 for 2 with a walk. A couple of strikeouts. And Dick Allen is going to get himself a possible home run here. And it looks like Dick Allen is going to get on the board unless he rolls double boxcars. The Cardinals will be on the board. 3-3. Three, three. And there it is. So Dick Allen gets the Cardinals on the board. And it's one nothing. Bottom of the eighth. So Dick Allen breaks through with a one that just got over the fence. So Joe Torrey up there now with two down. Hold on. And that's going to be it for Sparma. As, let's see here, Carl Morton who pitched in the actual couple innings in the actual game. It's going to be called upon to face Torrey here. As the crowd gives him a clap there, even though they are Cardinals fans here. Did pitch well. So Joe Torrey up there now, 0 for 3 on the day. And he'll fly out to end the inning. So, see if the Expos can push across a run here. They haven't been able to so far against Torres. Torres looking to get the complete game shut out. He'll have to face LeBoy, Brand, and, Va and Wine. So, LeBoy, one for three on the day. And that is going to be a walk. And he's going to play it safe. Not much of a stealer. All right, so Ron Brand. I think we're going to go with a hit and run here. Doesn't strike out that often. So Ron Brand. See if he can make contact here. At least get the runner in scoring position. 1-3. Brand is 1-3 one, one for, one for, for the day. And takes a strike. Or the hit run again. 6-6. Six, six. Five two. And that's gonna be a single, so the runner will move to third, so it'll put runners at the corners. Ooh, I think we're gonna play it safe here. We don't want to get thrown out. And Ron Brand is gonna be relieved for a pinch runner. Let's see, Bob Bailey. And Sutherland were used in the game. They're both average. They weren't pinch runners. They were pinch hitters. So let's see if we can get a fast runner here. I guess Jim Fairley. Might as well bring in him. He'll be brought upon the pinch run for Brand. Representing the go-ahead run here. Uh, no, he's not going to go. All right, so runners at the corners. Nobody out. Cardinals are going to bring the infield in. Bobby Wine up to the plate. Wine 0 for 3 on the day. Hmm. Did we go for the squeeze? Hold on. All right. Wine was a good bunter. He had 10 sacrifice hits in 1970. So we're going to actually gonna bring the infield in. We're going to try a safety squeeze. Let's see. If you answer yes, the sacrifice play. Sacrifice on first will be used. Uh, I guess we'll do a safety squeeze. All right, here we go. Bobby Wine up there. Squares around. 2-1. And they get him over. So second and third now with one down. Adolfo Phillips with a chance to be the hero. It's two for three on the day. 4-3. Oh, and he grounds out to back to the pit, back to the pitcher. 
So two down now. And now Carl Morton will be lifted for a pinch hitter. And we said it was Bob Bailey and Gary Sutherland. So Bob Bailey with ooh, 4.07. 407 on base percentage. 271. Bob Bailey is going to be called upon the pinch hit. Definitely this is not 1978. So we'll let him pinch hit. We do not want, want him to pinch hit against the righty. 1978, but 1970 we do. So Bob Bailey with a chance to be the hero here. Chance to put the Expos on top. At least tie the score here with the base hit. Fairly is fast at second. So Torres looks in for the sign from Torrey. Nods his head, looks at the runners. Here's the delivery. And 5-1. And that is going to be a base hit. The runner on third will score. The runner on second will stop at third. But the Expos tie it up. I'm going to play it safe here, definitely. So Bob Bailey able to get a single and score one. Ties the game at one. Can Mac Jones be the hero here? Mac Jones 0 for 3 on the day with a walk and a couple of strikeouts. And it looks like Torres is going to be lifted for a pinch hitter i mean for a uh for the i think he let's see here hold on i mean for a relief pitcher so i kept him in until he allowed a run the king ikibu rules there so on a shutout he's pitching a shutout leave him in let's see who do we bring in now let's see so we get a oh look at all those lefties definitely got to bring in a lefty frank britannia uh uh no, didn't have enough appearances here. Lefty, he's just as good as anybody. Lefty, 386. Let's see who else we got. Al Horbaska, I would bring him in, but he just didn't have enough game. Oh. Oh, yeah, he's not as good back then. Billy McCool possibly. Oh, no. Definitely not him. <laughs> that ERA. Fred Norman. No. Rich Nye. No. He was a starter. Okay. So, well, it looks like we got to bring in... Who was that? I can't remember who it was now. Campisi? No. Uh, Britannia. Yeah, Britannia. No. I forgot who it was. Yeah, I think it was him. Yep. So Tom Hig Hingendorf, 386. He's going to come in, see if he can keep this a 1 1 game. So Mac Jones in there now. Here we go. Oh, and Mac Jones is going to hit one. Is it going to go out? 2-2. Two, two. No, probably not going to go out, but it'll be enough to score a couple runs here. 2-5. So Mac Jones hits one off of Higgle, H Hilgendorf, a two-run double off the base of the wall. And Montreal has answered with three runs of their own. So, Higgle, Hig, Hilgendorf gives up the double with two down. The run is, scores two. Okay, so we got to get fairly. Let's see. I don't think they used anybody. The 10 nothing win. They didn't, they didn't use any uh, pinch hitters or anything. I mean, any, uh, yeah. Actually, they did. Hold on. Uh, no, it's Bailey and Sutherland. Neither one of those was a catcher. So uh, let's see. Who do we have for a catcher? I guess Bateman is going to come in. Just as good as anybody. C8. So Bateman's going to come in. Catcher. All right. And we need, let's see. We need to bring their closer in. Hold on. All right. Claude Raymond. Should have known that. He did pitch in the actual game, too, in a losing Effort. Well, he didn't get the loss, but they did lose. Like I said, 10 nothing. So we're going to bring Claude Raymond in to try to 
close it out for the Expos. Crowd is stunned here. Got the Cardinals with that one run. We're going to win it, but the X, they're going to have to score at least four to win it here. Three, they have to score at least three three runs here to two runs here to keep it going. So Aaron Lee is one for two with a single and a walk. Three game hitting streak. So here we go. Raymond on the hill kicks and delivers. Oh, almost a six six, a five six. And that is going to be out number one. As he pops out to short. So one down now for Joe Haig. He's one for two with a walk also. 3-3. Three, three. So Joe Haig. is going to reach here. With a home run. Actually he's going to come around all the way. So 3-2 to two now. So hold the phone. The crowd. Those that were starting to leave are back are starting to come back in here. Trickle back in after Haig hits a home run. It's now a 3-2 game. Definitely a cardiac game, as Clinton Parks would say. All right, so Julian Javier up there now. One down. He's 0 for 3 on the day. 2-1. And he will fly out to left. So it'll be up to Dell Maxville. The game is going to continue here. He's also one for two. So everybody, these last three hitters were all both all one for two with a single and a walk. So Dell Maxville in there now. Maxville hitting just 200, but does have a hit today. So Raymond looks in for the sign from Bateman. Here's the windup in the pitch. Oh, and it's 1-1. One, one. And he's going to reach on a single. And Hill Hilgendorf is going to be in there. And he is going to be replaced here. Let me just make sure that uh, the Expos, I mean, the Cardinals didn't use a pinch hitter. Actually, it wasn't a pinch hitter, but Dick Vic DeVillo came in to pinch hit. I mean, came in to play left field. He did get in that bat, and he's got a very good on-base percentage. So we're going we're gonna to let him come in here. Yeah. So Vic DeVillo. See if he can be the hero, or at least continue the game here. So DeVillo, let's check out his stats for the season. So he's got a couple of couple of pinch hits here. It's two for three on the officially with an RBI. See if he can get a second RBI here, or at least keep the game going. So Raymond looks in for the sign. Over to Maxwell. At first, gets his lead. Davilo ready to grip and rip. Here's the pitch. 6 4. Oops. And he'll strike him out to end the game. So, a quite exciting inning and a half here as the Cardinals score one to take a 1 0 lead. The Expos answer with three in the top of the ninth. The Cardinals scratch back. Well, get a solo home run from Haig and leave the tying run at first. So quite an exciting finish here as the Expos beat the Cardinals 3-2. to two. Take a look at the box score here. So Mike Torres gets the loss. Carl Morton is going to be credited with the win. Sparman gets a no decision. So Joe Sparman goes 7 and 2 thirds innings. Uh, six hits, one run it was earned. But at least the Expos came back and prevented him from getting the loss. Walked five, so he's anything but perfect. Nine strikeouts and that one home run to Dick Allen. So Carl Morton gets the win. Pitch is just a third of an inning. Facing one batter. Claude Raymond will pitch the ninth. And he'll get the save when we... All said and done. Two hits, one run. That ho solo home run to to Haig. Faces five batters. 
Mike Torres with the loss, one and one, eight and two thirds. Definitely deserved a better fate. Well, top of the ninth wasn't so great, but eight and two thirds, seven hits, three runs, all of them earned. Four walks, so he, he let up a few walks there, six strikeouts. Hilgendorf unable to prevent the uh, runs from coming in there, the go ahead runs. So it pitches a third of an inning, allowing one hit. That was a big one. It was a double that scored two from Mac Jones, I think it was. No, was it Mac Jones or was it Rusty Staub? Oh, Mac Jones, because Stubbs was in another inning. Yeah, so Mac Jones had only one hit, but it was a big one. So who do we give player of the game here? I guess we got to give it to Mac Jones there for that double driving in two. That proved big. Because if they only would have scored one, we would have been still been playing here. So I guess Mac Jones are going to give player of the game. We thought it was going to be a pitcher, but Mac Jones is going to be our player of the game. Bob Bailey also got, the, got a key hit, too. But Mac Jones, I think we're going to give it to him. So let's save the file here. So an exciting finish. Cardinals almost came back, but just didn't quite have enough oomph. So Raymond will get the save. Torres pitched well, but just not quite good enough. And let's take a look at the standings now. So with the win, the Expos are three and four, and with the loss, the Cardinals fall out of first place. They were tied were tied with the Cubs, five and one. But now the Cubs are by the lonesome a half game ahead. Braves six and three. One game lead in the West, National League West. Twins just only played four games so far. But they're in first place by a half game over the Athletics. Actually, hold on. No, the Athletics are in first place. They didn't flip-flop them here. Yeah, because they played more. Well, technically, percentage-wise. But that's kind of weird. But yeah, there would be two more wins and one more loss. So they were head, head by one win there. So yeah, so they would be technically... I think they would be in first place. Even though percentage-wise, that's a, that's kind of a weird, weird thing. <laughs> but the Twins would, today would have to play the rest of their games anyway for them to be officially in first. So we'll call the Athletics in first by a half game there. That's, that's what it is, actually. Kind of weird to see that. Uh, Senators continue to be hot. Yankees right behind them, though. Got a half game lead on the Yankees. And let's take a look at it. This is the last game from the 15th here. So let's take a look. See what games we have on the Schneid coming up. So hmm, Joel Coleman, Jim Palmer. So I'm not sure if we're going to actually do another game. Do a game every day. We might start just doing like we're doing here. It's just when it's something special comes along. Unless... It's something real special, like a real, like both pitchers are undefeated or something like that, or both teams are vying for first later on. But I don't think I see a really a matchup. Unless, unless you guys are like, let's see it, like any of these matchups here and like to see one of these, let let me know in the comments. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to continue like we were doing here. Or if I feel like recording a game, I'll record a game. So that's it. So thank you for joining me. It's Eric from Higher Ground Gaming. As the Cardinals and Expos scoreless through seven, the Expos come up on top, scoring three in the top of the ninth, and hold on to win three to two. So take care and God bless.
And remember to check out this forum on the Delphi forums there. Uh, I'll leave the link in the video description. Bye-bye now.